so it is that time again and it is another video with Van of the Collective and this week sorry this month is actually a pretty re easy video for us isn't it really yeah because it's on gadgets it is and I love my gadgets so do you you do so we did buy quite a few gadgets when we first started out, but we've whittled them down to our top three, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Um, we're going to start off with the IP camera that we bought so that we could yes. uh, keep uh, an eye on the dogs and a bit of security for the van. Yeah, so we'll roll along with that one first. While we were at the NEC, we saw somebody selling these, which is a wireless IP camera. It was sold to us as a dog camera, or a pet cam, but some of these features on here, especially the security features, I think this could be pretty good to have in the van, even if you didn't have animals. So we're gonna have a wee test of it and see if it's any better than the one we currently have. The one we currently have looks a bit like this. So this is a dog smart camera. One of the main problems we have with this is it's static. So once you've got it in a position, it doesn't move, which is great when you don't have three dogs that all go in different areas of the van. Not just that, if you want it for security reasons, you're still stuck with that one thing. This one claims that it has motion detection, you can set an alarm, it's got two-way audio, and it's 360 degrees that you can move it. So let's have a look at the box. We'll set it up and see if it's worth the money. So in the box, you do get, you get your cable, which is quite a long cable. You get a plug, you get the instructions, the camera, which looks mm, like that. That's quite a nifty little unit. It's got a button on the top, it's got a, a gap there to put a, a memory card in. So it does also have the bit to attach it to the roof. So we'll give it a wee attachment and see what it looks like when it's all turned on. One of the bonuses to this for us was the fact that it is just USB powered. So you haven't got to put it into a plug socket. So it will go through a 12 volt. So that's perfect for when we need the camera to work. So we've decided to put ours up here. That is just where we prefer to put it. It does come with the screws to be able to attach it directly. Or the gentleman did say you can actually glue it on. Um, for us, I think we prefer the fact of having it really secure because we've had issues trying to glue things on in the past. So all you do is so it comes in with the tongue and grooves. So you just twist it on. And then that's it. Our power cable, we've got a USB socket around here, so we're just going to plug the USB in and plug it in. So we have now installed the software, which didn't take that long. Uh, and one of the neat things, <laughs> which if you can see, she's now moving around, she's actually tracking human faces. So this is what it looks like on my phone. So I can actually move it around by hand if I want to. So you just scan which direction you want it in. There's Mr. Cameraman. And there's me. So there is some neat settings on here, so you can set face recognition, so it will recognise faces. It will also detect if there's a human present and also motion and sound. So if anybody was to try and come through the door or something, it would set an alarm. So you can just do it that way. And it sets an alarm off. So all the software has been installed. One thing I do need to make sure that you are all aware of, this is a Wi-Fi camera. So you do need some sort of Wi-Fi or data in the motorhome for it to work. We will be doing a separate video on how we manage our Wi-Fi because we have seen a few people out there that do it differently from us, but we thought we'd give you a few hints and tips of how we do it. But compared to price point, compared to what this one was and how much this one cost, there is no comparison. This one costs us £60. It, yeah, this one costs us 25 this is so superior to this. They just, yeah, they're in different leagues. I'm really, really impressed by this. And I think if you're looking for something to either keep an eye on your van, to keep an eye on your pets, or just for security reasons, 
I would definitely recommend this. It does everything it says on the box, which I'm quite impressed with. We have got a link down below because they're on Amazon. I think they're 35 at the minute. We have bought this with our own money. We are not being paid or it's anything like that. It is literally just a purchase we bought. And I would definitely say it was worth your cash. Uh, if you, anybody who's worried about their security of inside their van, it, it's brilliant. It really, really is. Even if you're thinking, oh, did I leave something on? You can quickly check. You can check for noises. Yeah, I really, really like it. Don't forget to have a look in the description below and check out everybody else's videos as well. We're all doing gadgets. Yeah, so I'm quite intrigued to see what everybody else's gadgets are. I wonder if anybody's gone for the same gadgets as us. I doubt it. Yeah. I bet you somebody's got a drone on there, haven't they? Just rub it in. So yes, like Andrew said, check out everybody else's and see what everybody else has been up to. A bit of a strange gadget for us, but it's actually been an, an absolute lifesaver for us, is the Golo. It is a battery start kit, when your battery's died, it kind of chucks a load of electric into it and boosts your battery so that you can start it. It has been brilliant. We didn't think it would manage with a motorhome battery. I don't know why, we just thought, we'll give it a go, we'll see what it's like. Three or four times this has saved our lives when our batteries have just either died or because they're cold, there just isn't enough power to be able to start the engine. Put this on, there's a little button here, so it goes into a little slot there, has ye old cables to be able to plug it in. That goes in there, that presses onto your battery, you press a button in the car and that's it. Batteries away. But for another reason it's also been a lifesaver is it is also a power bank. So it will charge anything by USB and it also has a fast charge. So for mobile phones it's been brilliant. It's also been brilliant for laptops-ish. It kind of drains it really, really fast, but it will charge it. And another good thing is it charges while we're driving. It does have a USB port to charge it. You can also plug it into your ash, your cigarette lighter. So that's been brilliant because when we're driving, we just plug it on to charge. Don't really think about it. We get there and it's usually 100%. So it's been brilliant to just have sitting there. We're knowing that it can jump the battery, but knowing that we've got that little bit extra of power if it's been a really, really bad day or gets to silly o'clock at night and our electric goes off, we got a way of charging our phones. So yeah, so give them a look. But it's definitely been worth the money. I think it's for peace of mind as well. I think it's another thing. And it's I think it's one of Andrew's favourite little gadgets as well that we have in the van. So yeah, so yeah, check them out. It does come with a nice little carry case as well. I think another nice thing about this is it does also have... A little compass on the front, on the top, which I know sounds weird to be in a power bank, but it even has, not that I can remember how to do it, but it even has a torch. So I think it is a little safety thing. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I'm trying to work out a turn. There we go, look, torch. Flashing, and then even has the SOS. So yeah, what a brilliant little product. And I, and I can't remember, like I said, I can't remember how much it was, but it just charges with a USB, charges in your car, as you're driving so it does also charge by mains obviously for us that doesn't really make a difference but there is a mains charger as well but like i said so the, the, there's three or four points of way of charging it so for us it's been absolutely brilliant if we're having a really sunny dinner like today i can just put it on usb and it'll charge then i know it's sat there with 100 percent for when we need it so we are up in scotland um we are now parked right next to a river and it has been really really warm today it's what was it 16 17 degrees and i have been bitten already so everybody's been pretty warm about the mosquitoes and luckily enough when i was at the beginning of the year at the nec show we bought this we did buy this this isn't a promo we didn't get it for free we actually paid with our own cash so this was by wolf they had a big stand there so it's just a mosquito zapper and a torch on the bottom it is rechargeable it is waterproof apparently so yeah so I thought we'll give it a go while we're here tonight. If there is anything in the van, I can get rid of it. So let's have a look what's in the box. I think this one was £20. It did have different colours. It's got a little instruction manual. The actual unit itself. Comes with a cable because it is rechargeable. And a little cleaning brush to get rid of the dead mosquitoes that are in there, hopefully. So yeah, so it comes with a nifty ordinary 
thing there and then it does even have a little pull out hook as well so that you can hang it up so i think we're just going to hang it up there tonight and see how that works but there's just a little button there oh torch and then the lamp and then i think you can have it on both yeah and then you can have it on both and then turn it off there's just a little bit here so you plug your cable in to recharge it so fingers crossed it works for 20 quid you can't really mourn they did have other ones in different designs and bigger ones whatever else but we just thought just for one end of the van when, when we were asleep because that's where they tend to get us is when we we're asleep we'll give it a go so i will report back in the morning to whether or not i've got to try and clean flies out of this i think we'll let andrew do that but yeah let's see how it goes perfect and it's a wee little night light So a quick look at how many bugs this thing's caught. So you're going to struggle to see what you can see. All the bugs inside there. Obviously I know we're in Scotland so we're expecting them to be a lot of bugs. But just the amount of bugs that are in there is just gross. Look, you can see them all. Yeah. So yeah, so if you're looking for a, a bug zapper... I would definitely recommend this. Um, we've used it for two nights so far um, and I think we're going to be using it a lot more once we get on to Sky and the weather starts to get nicer. But yeah, for 20 quid, it was a bargain. And it's still, I've one, one charge, it lasted two nights and it's still fully charged. Well, it's still got charge to it. So I'll be interested to see how long we get off it of a charge. So that was our three gadgets. Yeah, uh I can't pick one of my favorite. I can't pick one of them out of all of them. I think we use the camera more than anything else, don't we? Yeah, we do. The the, the fly zapper was uh, good, or the bug zapper was good in Scotland. It is, yeah, I was gonna say it is in like summer. Yeah. But in winter, we're not gonna get much use out of it. But yeah. the camera, I think we use on the well all the yeah, time. Absolutely. Yeah. So you can. Um, there are links if you want to purchase one yourself um, in the description. And leave a comment and let us know if there's any other apps apps gadgets that's what i meant if there's any other gadgets that you would recommend or that you would maybe change up and what would you put in your top three gadgets if you live in a motorhome or even if you just like camping or even at home just remember we've got limited power <laughs> <laughs> but we will catch you for a normal vlog on sunday yes we will yeah see you there bye, bye.